Hey, 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 guys. We are in Torrance, California. I, we are at the famous Alpine Village, which is a German shopping center kind of area. They got some gift shops there. They have a little chapel. I'm not sure what that one is. I'm going to have to look into it. And they have a German supermarket and cafe. There you can see the sign, Alpine Village. The German shopping center here in Torrance, California. Let's head up here to the Alpine Market and take a look. Here we are at the beach section. Get all kinds of good German sausage, hey, jalapeno, cheddar, uh, that's not German. Wieners, oh, I'm sorry. bratwurst, Bavarian bratwurst, liverwurst. Wow. A bunch of different cheeses. This is the place. Eat sauerkraut. I get a where to go. Here we got beer. Look at the beer here. Cerveza. Different kinds of beer. Draft beer. Let's put it on the tap. And you're ready to go. What is this? Red cabbage. Everything. A German needs to live. <laughs> the thing they need is here and more bread, hummus bread, all the food cookies. Holy stuff! <laughs> All the cool cookies. And what's this here? Plum butter. Pretty neat. We're in the German liquor section. All the German beers you want. Look at that. Bottles, six packs. Oh, and they got liquor too. My parents are German, but you know, I don't know most of this stuff. Big I grew up in Belize and Mexico and Canada. So a lot of this stuff is new to me. They've got a big selection, huge selection. Let me take a look back here, see what we can find. Oh, oh. Paprika potato chips. Whoa. That looks good. Pumpernickel bread. Rye bread. Some kind of German water. I might have to buy one of these and take it along. Once it got no sugar in it. Because I'm off sugar. Totally off sugar. I gotta get rid of this gut. Get back into shape. Oh. Curry ketchup. Wow. I think I'm gonna have to take some curry ketchup. Oh, and I got more curry ketchup. I'm gonna have to take some of that along. Here you can get your beer stein. Got a can of beer in it? Oh, got a can of beer in it. 
you buy a beer, I come to the shine. All right, here, let's see. This is, oh, coffee. German coffee. Let me see if I can find the chocolate. I need chocolate. Honey. See, everything in German. Alpine Village here in Torrance, California. I've actually been in this store, wow, a long time ago. Super, super long time ago. And I went to the Oktoberfest that they had here. That was great. Beer was flowing, look all German cookies and it's like cakes and I'm definitely gonna have to buy some stuff. Hello, Mr. German. <laughs> I gotta buy some stuff and stock up on some sweet stuff. Even though I'm off sugar. Okay. Now we're talking. Chocolate. Yeah. Now this is my size of a chocolate bar. Nugget. I don't know what that is. What does this mean? This I know, peppermint. Peppermint, well that's English, right? Cocos, coconut. I can read that. Um, <laughs> she crashed into me. Oh, how bitter? Okay. I don't know what that is. Cacao mousse, chocolate mousse. Traubenus has grapes and nuts. This circus, I don't know what that is. You know what it is? Let me know. My German is not very good anymore. And over here, wow, licorice drops. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. They are good. Look here, they got beer from Czechoslovak, Czech Republic. Very interesting uh, A and W. That's, that's from here. Here we got a bunch of uh, Pacifico from Mexico. I think I'm gonna have to buy a German beer to drink out on the patio before we leave. Can't come here and not do that. Here in the refrigerated section of Matches Herring. 50. What's this here? Herring and wine sauce. Six bucks. And smoked herring filet. Look at that. Wow. Herring and oil. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. So, so hungry. Caviar. Caviar. Wow. Different cheeses. Sheep's milk cheese. Bulgarian sheep's milk cheese. Oh man. I would get too fat. I would get too fat if I lived around here. Definitely. We're gonna have some beer and we picked these three here. The guy said this is good. I have no idea about that, no idea about that, but I'm gonna try him out. Well, Maria's mom is gonna try one of the others. 
If she doesn't like it, I'll have to drink it. See what happens. Let's see. Half pro. Read it. <laughs> Let's see. Read some German. Half, half pro. Half pro. Hefe Weissen. Okay. Anybody speak German? Tell us how did Maria do reading that. <laughs> this is the Mexican German. Yeah. Half pro. Hefe Weissen. I think. I'm not sure. Okay. I gotta read this. Uh huh. Oh <laughs> man. Free. Kolsch. For Kolsch. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Help Let me, me see. out here. Let me read it for you. That's the fru, fru, fru kolch. Fru kolch? Yeah, fru kolch. So I think this Mexican read better German than, <laughs> than me whose parents are German. And this one here is <laughs> Bitburger <laughs> Fest Beer. <laughs> Bitburger Fest Beer. That's the Fest Beer. Fest Beer. Ice. Fest Beer. Fest beer. Fest, beer. Yeah. fest beer would be like party beer, I think. Bit, bit burger. Like for fest. Bit burger. Yeah. Bitter bite. Bit burger. This is very, very bitter, guys. Very bitter. Yeah. Uh, this one is very light. This one tastes like you got ham in it to uh, me. No, no, no. Ham or smoked sausage. I think you didn't brush your teeth. This is actually a little Swedish and very very light very mild beer that is very good very mild beer and this one is a little refreshing it is like fruity but not like ipa it's like a little fruit something in there yeah but not ipa strange taste yeah so here we are alpine village right there well all of this is alpine village all of this they set up a big tent here huge tent for oktoberfest bring in bands from Germany and, and huge one liter pitchers of beer. It's really great. I came to this ooh, many, 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 many years ago when I was still a young guy who could drink a lot and I had a good time. Guys, look at this. I bought some German curry ketchup. It says it right here. Made in Germany. Love that curry ketchup. Oh, pretzel, wow. Let me get a little piece of pretzel. Pretzel? Goes with beer. Mm hmm. That's equal. Good stuff. <laughs> you could tell me a little, sir. Yeah. So we are in this bookshop here in Alpine Village. Yeah, this bookshop was previously owned by. Uh, Michael, I'm not going to use his last name right now. He passed away recently. I'll go here because the light. Yeah. I'll turn this way because the light. Okay. going to make you look dark. Oh, he recently passed away? Yeah, he recently passed away. Uh, it's a sad story, but we don't want to go there. Yeah. But uh, my wife, Rachel, her father owned a bookshop. Her uncle, everybody in their family owned bookshops. They own a uh, heritage bookshop. is on La Cienga in uh, Melrose. So it was the old Hollywood mortuary. And uh, Clark Abel had been bombed there, and they had books like you know Shakespeare folios, and, and uh, I've actually heard about that bookshop, yeah. Cecilius yeah. and like uh, Euclid and Galileo, like they had the books that yeah. made history. Yeah. So something called PMM, which is printing in the mind of man, in like the 70s, a uh, couple hundred of the smartest people in the world got together and made a list of the most important books, and it's PMM is printing in the minds of man, and uh, it's an interesting list. So wow. you should check it out. They yeah. have books, all the books on that list, pretty much. Yeah. Darwin and things like that. But uh, so my wife and I are trying to trying to turn this into something. I mean, we we're not going to be able to hold on to it, but we love books. We sell books from out of our house, and uh, you know, there's a book for everyone. Yeah, there's a lot of books here, as you can see. Lots of books. I like working with novels myself. A lot of rare books, I bet, are in here. I mean, you know, we took the best ones out already, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the money. Oh, yeah. So he organized this piece here already? I mean, this was his place and uh, it was falling apart and we just tried to do the best we could with it. Yeah. And it turned into just a disaster zone, unfortunately. And sadly, the owner, he died right in here, right? Yeah, he, they found him in the back here after about four days. Wow. Yeah, it was just a... And when they came in here, this is what they found, everything? Oh, this was way worse. Like, oh, it was even worse. Yeah, wow. He was all over. He couldn't even walk over here. The bookshelves here. fell apart. Yeah. I was falling. He died back there. Yeah, there was carpet and everything laid out. I've been trying to yeah. clean it up. And it's depressing when I come in here, man. Yeah, very, very sad. Yeah. 
very sad, but it's man, sadistic, uh, they are. COVID and everything else. Yep, exactly. Lots of great books. Yeah, it affects people more than you think. Just the kind of mentality that you go about every day. I know. You wake up and, you know, try to serve a purpose, but then when they tell you don't do this, don't do that, it's like, what do you do? What do Ex you do exactly. And this is here in Alpine Village. Yeah, I love this community. I love this area. Yeah, I know. You got a lot of books in German. Oh, yeah, big time. I get a lot of German books, German writing. Heck yeah. A lot of very rare books. Oh, yeah. Let me see that one. I think I had that as a kid. You can keep that, man. That's Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. I think I had one look almost like this. I'll give you a, I'll hook you up right now, man. Thank you. I had one almost like this as a kid. There's some great books in German. Do you, you read German? Actually, I can't read much German anymore. I kind of like lost my German over the years. So he here, what's, what is your name again? This place? No, what is your name again? My name is Matthew. Matthew, so Matthew is getting it all organized for the family. Yeah. Getting it all cleaned up and... Just trying to make sense of it and trying to, you know, trying to find a home for these books before yeah. we just call in the right. people that just throw them away. So come here, maybe Matthew got a book that you're looking for, guys. Yeah, you never know. You never, never know. You want any of these, man? I'm, a, I'm actually good. I, I'm t I, I, I'll appreciate this. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll treasure this. Yeah. I'll pre yeah. treasure this here. Try to find something cool for you, you know? Yeah. I was tripping out on those. Yeah, this is a documentary series wow. from World War II. All the, the like, wow, yeah. Hitler's um, uh -huh. you know, speeches and stuff. Holy. I'm thinking about making some artwork. I do a lot of artwork. Yeah, I know. I do a lot of street, street art. I make uh, neon signs. and. Yeah. I'll show you some of my art in a minute if you got time. Yeah. Wow. This is something else. Well, I'm glad you showed me this. Yeah. Sad story, guys. A sad end to a great bookstore. Yeah, less and less people are appreciating books, but... I know, everything is online now. Yeah, the books are so important. Yeah. People don't realize what people had to do to, to, to make books back in the day. That's for sure. Like the, uh, the Catholic Church had a council and if they didn't approve your book, like Galileo had to smuggle his book out yeah. to get it printed. And it was only like so many years ago they like relinquished his, his sentence because they would cut your ears off and they would like slit your nose yeah. and throw you in prison if they didn't like what you were saying uh -huh. going against the church. Yeah. You know? I know, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, it's, yeah. It's suppression on the, the... They like keep... You know, they don't want you to think for yourself. Right, yeah. That's the scary part. Well, it was great meeting you, Matthew. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for showing yeah, me the store. To check that out. And this is here in Alpine Village. It's been a hot day. It's been hot. Yeah. At Collectible Books. So much nicer outside. How long has this business been here? I have no idea. Probably like 20 years, man. Yeah. Long, long time. Again. Long, long time. Yeah, I mean, uh, my father-in-law, my uncle, they own bookshops. My wife, we sell yeah. books out of our, our home. Yeah. Our aunt. Her cousin has the Iliad in, um, in like the valley. It's a huge bookstore. Like everybody in their family owns books. I think about it, books is a good idea. This is oh, yeah. this is how Amazon Jeff oh, Bezos. I want my own bookshop. It's gonna be called Crooks with Books. Yeah. It's all street art, graffiti. You know, like. That. I remember when Jeff Bezos started Amazon selling books. Oh, wow. I thought, what an idiot. He takes it. Doesn't what? matter, you can't compete with him, you know? Oh no, he's, he rules he's everything now. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I he, thought, that guy, that guy's nuts, he's gonna go broke. Oh no, he's... Definitely not. Yeah, he's his time. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Well, well nice meeting you, Matthew. Great meeting you, Doug. I hope everything goes I good. It, man. I hope yeah. everything goes good, then. Yeah. You guys get home for all these books? Yeah, only the good ones now. Yeah. <laughs> only the good ones yep. So all these stores are still closed? And they close early, man. Oh, they close early. Yeah, especially on the weekend because, uh, you know, there's the swap meet right here. Oh, the what time is the swap meet? I don't know, man. It's early, but it's huge. I would love to come here? to... Uh, no, I'd love come to come tomorrow, to swap meet. It's going to be around. It's going to be on tomorrow? Yeah. It starts early, I man, bet. Man, it's giant. It's like this whole massive thing, the whole side of the street. There's what time food. does it start? Probably like at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna, man. I'm going to be here for that. I'm not an early person anymore. I love swap meets. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I love digging, just digging. Yeah, digging. yeah. I definitely got come to. I'm glad you told me. Yeah. I didn't know. 
It's huge for me. Yeah. My mom used to come here. My mom used to live down the street. Yeah. And when she was a kid, she grew up in Torrance. Oh, yeah. And she tells me about Alpine Village, and she's like, ah, oh, Alpine Village. Yeah. I love this place. There's something about this little community that's really, you know. I know. It's like a different country yeah. altogether. Yeah, it's like going into a different place. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I know. That's why I like coming here. Like, you know, yeah, America. we drove by. We went to San Pedro. Yeah. I would drove by. I said, there's Alpine Village. We got to go. Have we got to go back. Before? I was here 20 some years ago, and yeah. then I brought me with my wife. Almost 20 years ago, now we're back again. Yeah, man. It's nice, sir. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think the church is going to move in here soon. They're talking about some other kind of church. And oh, yeah. I think this place is going to turn into a yoga type of fitness place. Mm -hmm. going to take it over next. Yeah, yeah, they need to bring it back to life because yeah. I know it was busy here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Swami really takes all the business. Yeah. To incorporate the Swami somehow. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of people coming here. This whole parking lot's packed. I'm coming tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to come early. All right, see you, man. Have fun. So they got a, okay, so they got, huh? Uh, no, I'm good. I, I, ju I just had two of them there and I got to drive. I had two of those big, I had two of those big German beers. love these German beers, man. Yeah, I know. I had two of them. I got to drive after this. Yeah, all right, man. Have fun. All right. So here's a cool collector's store with antiques and that. Can't really see anything through the windows, but I've been in here. Yeah, you can't really see nothing from here. And here's Alpine Arts. Oh wow, they got some nice stuff too. Check it out. And what is this? Alpine Cosmetics. Uh, look at these authentic German suits. I don't know if you could see it with the reflection of the sun. If this store would be open, I would get myself one of these, or one like this to wear. Just, just for the fun of it. Okay, they look so cool. Let's see what's down here. Everything's closed today. They said it closed early today. Today is Saturday. It closed very early. Oh, they got antique clocks. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Let's see what else is here. Somebody owns a big chunk of land here and they really, they built a complete German village. Wow. And here the Alpine Village is home of Oktoberfest. It's usually held out there. It's really good. So from Alpine Village, I hope you enjoyed the video. Swap beat. I might be here for that, I'm not sure. Here in Alpine Village. Thanks for watching. Willkommen. Until next time. Tschüssi.